Well, good morning, friends. I am here this morning at a very interesting place. He's a local sculptor. His name's Richard. And um, he has different sculptures around town. And this is one of his galleries. And so it's kind of near my work, so I thought you might enjoy seeing something. And so this is the one that he actually has showcased outside of his building as like his main piece. He's got a couple little smaller pieces, but this is his main piece. And his main piece looks like um, someone who's in the Olympics, maybe working on the rings, doing gymnastics. So there's two things that come to mind. First of all, when you think about gymnastics, for me, I just think about training. Like they are training morning, noon, and night. And when they train, it affects everything. It, it's it, how they eat, how they sleep, what they do and don't do. Um, all of these things are part of their training so that they can be the best and be at their best to bring and to hewn their skills. And they do it for a gold medal. They spend their lives to be honored of men and to um, reach a goal that they um, had set for themselves. Well, there's an exercising also of our faith that we have a prize and that we are running toward a goal and that we do things like buffet our body or exercise our faith so that we can serve God acceptably and be a vessel that's fit for his use and so I just want to give you a quick look this morning at what I see. And so you can see, of course, all of his muscles are strained. And he's doing a right angle with his legs. So right angles, that has been like something the Lord was giving me earlier um, last month about being walking uprightly and walking rightly and um, kind of like a bo plumb bob that you would measure everything according to what is right in the eyes of the Lord, not in the eyes of men. But he is draining all his muscles and he's exercising his skills. And that's what I believe the Lord wants us to do. To daily be exercising our faith so that our spiritual muscles get stronger and stronger. And that our discernment gets stronger and stronger. That our love grows stronger and stronger. That our peace is deeper and deeper so that we're less disturbed by the cares and the affairs of this life. So I hope today that you will exercise your faith. And I hope today that you will continue to grow in grace and then in the knowledge of our Lord. Have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day, my friends. Bye for now. See ya.